Hi, I'm James and I've got an update on a new product from Metabones that we have for the Blackmagic Pocket Camera for hire here at the Gear Factory in London. It's a new speed booster just for the pocket camera which allows us to use Canon EF mount lenses. The Nikon speed booster we were using before and I've showed you in another video allowed for the use of manual lenses because it's effectively a manual dumb mount with no electronics in it. And so you could use Nikon lenses because they have manual irises. Canon EF lenses are electronic iris only. There's no iris dial to get at to adjust manually. Now previously the only ways around this on the pocket camera and quite a few other cameras were either very cumbersome, optically problematic or rather expensive. The really cumbersome way was to take another camera like a Canon stills camera, attach your lens to that, set the aperture and then switch it off, take that off and then put it on your other camera via a dumb mount. Very painful. The optically problematic way was to use a dumb adapter but with a manual iris inside that you could control the amount of light going through. The problem with this is that the aperture doesn't then sit in the middle of the optical path but sits in the gap behind the last exit pupil of the lens. Then it goes through this new aperture and then hits your sensor and that's not the right place in the light path for the aperture to be. So when you stop down on this type of iris behind the lens you'll see vignetting in your image because it's not in the right place. The other options were quite expensive electronic mounts. I mean this happens to be on a RED and RED does you have their own Canon mount which does communicate with the camera but this is uh, just an example that I happen to have lying around of something that has its own electronics built in which acts completely as if it was its own little Canon camera but then it has extra parts to connect to separate batteries and controls uh, so it can actually control the iris. So you actually control the iris on a remote or on the mount itself and it's still a dumb mount to the camera so no other sort of control or information passes through. Metabones have now worked all this out and although it's quite pricey you are getting electronic control of the lens, you've got that speed booster glass in the middle which gives you the increased stop and your bigger field of view which gives you the coverage of a large sensor on the small Super 16 pocket sensor all in a very compact package. So the contacts in the M43 mount speak M43 language to the contacts in the back of the speed booster. The electronics inside translate that into EF compatible information and those contacts then connect onto the back of the contacts on the EF lens and translate everything back and forth. So that's great news for us and uh, for all you Canon EF lens lovers. Uh, let's have a look at it actually working because there's also further benefits in the details. So we mount our speed booster and we connect our Canon lens. So you can hit the iris button and it acts as if it was a native micro four thirds lens and adjusts the iris. It won't carry on auto irising, focusing, hunting up and down until you tap the iris button again. But what you can do is use the manual up and down buttons to manually adjust the iris. Great. Here's at what 28 millimeters looks like on a passive dumb mount with no optics in it on the Micro Four Thirds chip. And then we swap to the speed booster and you see we get still at 28 millimeters, we get all that extra coverage back, plus we get an increase in the amount of light coming through. And this is another plus, is now you can use, because it's electronic and not a dumb mount, you can use lenses that have a stabilizer built in. And one of the problems we find with a small camera like the Pocket, uh, especially using it handheld, is it tends to be rather shaky. So let me zoom in. So that's a nice long lens. With the stabilizer off, you can see, even if I'm trying to hold it steady, pretty shaky. And with the stabilizer on, you could almost get away with that right on the end of the zoom there as a handheld shot. Now the only problem with uh, using a zoom like this is that most of the stills lenses in the EF range are not par focal. That means if you set your focus when you're wide and then you zoom in, the focus goes. Unlike an expensive movie or TV lens which holds its focus over the range and that takes a lot more glass and engineering to get right and is a lot heavier lens. But at least we've got the focus assist on the back of the camera so that once you have set your shot, it's very easy to see on this camera when you are in focus. Obviously it does mean though you are not going to be able to use the zooming part of your shot. 
but still having that stabilizer is really great for handheld run and gun or obdock style uh, shooting. Now another great feature is that, uh, say this lens is an f3.5 when it's uh, right back there, but what the Metabones does is translates the speed boost you get into the data that's on the back of the lens. So when I'm wide open it here at f3.5 on the lens, the Metabones correctly works out that I'm actually with the speed boost got f2.2 and you can see that data in your lens data reflected on the back of the camera. So all in all, a really useful addition to this little pocket camera. Um, lovely for those of us who like to use EF lenses as well, and all for hire from us here at the Gear Factory in London. Check out our other videos, tests, and gear guides, and subscribe if you want to get instantly notified about any future reviews and updates we have. <laughs>